Right, here we are, we are at our first camping trip of 2023. Prime. Mason's got Prime, so everything's good. <laughs> we have got our um, Horizon 400 tent. It's the first time we've used it. We got rid of the outwell. So this is the first time we've been putting this one up. This will be interesting. It's a inflatable tent. So we're gonna give an inflatable tent a go. You just peg out the four corners first and then two others with the uh, stainless steel stakes which we've done. Make sure you put your feet on the bottom. That's it. And then blow up the centre first. So we're going to give that a go. Ellie is all loaded to the gunnels. Stacked right up with stuff. It's blowing up. And believe it or not, it's been raining for about two weeks everywhere. Oh, well. And today it's actually starting to look a bit brighter, which is nice. And there she is, that all loaded up. Stuffed, and there's Mummy doing her own little vlog. Look, vlogging the vlog, the vlog. Look at Mason go. Tent, awning, Ellie. It is a little bit windy actually. I'm a bit worried about the awning because we're so close to the tents. Putting the guy ropes down is quite challenging, so I'm hoping it stays. Mummy's inside, sorting out the beds at the moment. And we even got a toilet today. Proper toilet room. <laughs> there she is, beautiful Ellie. Air fryer, coffee maker, <laughs> diesel heater. Yeah, I like that. There's the loo. Yay! Very good setup. We're only here for actually uh, three days altogether, so it was a very short trip today. Bit of a shake out run, make sure it all works properly. Got some new reversing lights on there, leave that. They're very bright, it's just that I was so worried about reversing places and I couldn't see. Nice, I'll show you around the campsite in a bit.
Naomi putting up the really easy to uh, erect wardrobe. It said pop up IKEA wardrobe. And how long have you been easily putting that up? It doesn't pop up. <laughs> um, Half an hour so far, maybe. <laughs> Let's have a look. So we've got uh, a la carte kitchen for the uh, gastro delights that we'll be cooking later in the kitchen area of the vestibule. <laughs> and our beautiful chairs, bedside, bedside, chair side lager table. And another chair. And there we have the um, it's in a Horizon 400 and that's the nightfall sleeping areas where it's supposed to be dark and doesn't let through the sunlight, we'll see. You can see old Mason's getting on in there. How are you getting on, mate? Yeah! Liking it? Look, my snuddy's red. Look at you and your beautiful my little... can I record? Ah, I bet you're warm, aren't you? My snuddy's red. I can see. Yeah. You look really warm and cosy, mate. For some reason there. Excellent. So here we are at uh, Portisham Dairy campsite. I'll show you all around in a bit. I'm just going to watch Naomi put in this um, easy to put together wardrobe first because it's really easy. Um, and then we'll uh, see what they got to offer. So far, Painless, they've sent us an email day before we came here, giving us our plot number of 75. And <laughs> here we are. And here Naomi is. <laughs> so, so we're just cooking dindins. We are having fajitas, some chucky, sorry vegetarians. Avocado. Bit of chipotle, bit of rice, and the all important wraps. Good morning. Being made by the uh, best cook in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> so, the tent's all set up that. Really, you can really feel the difference between because we've got the ground sheet out here. Yeah. And then in there we've got the ground sheet, then the tent, then a double layer of cover. And it's warmer. Yeah, yeah, it's so much warmer. So we've got the nightfall sleeping compartments in this tent. It'll be really interesting to see if that makes a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, because in the morning the, the light yeah. really wakes you up. Normally wakes you up, doesn't it, really, really early when you go camping. So it'll be interesting to see if that makes a difference. And we've got a uh, naughty little excited boy down there. You can't stop being naughty because he's a fool. I got my Mickey hoodie on. And your slippers on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just so you can see how Mickey I really am. There's me Mickey slip flops. Because I'm so old, Disney. And then we're going to have. Well, see if you can guess what we're going to have for pudding. There's a clue. A comment if you can guess what are we having for pudding? The answer there's is one ingredient missing now. Yeah, there's one ingredient in the fridge. It has to be kept in the fridge. The anyway, I am starving, so let's see if dinner's ready. Right, so here we are. I said I'd give a campsite tour. Here we are, Portisham Dairy Farm campsite. Not far from Weymouth. Dorchester. So you come in. It's been raining for days and days and days. Today we arrive here, put the tent up, and it's absolutely glorious. They've got, it's called the old mill here, it's a building. And inside the building, which is, I think is amazing, they've got a vending machine which has got fresh organic milk. And then, I don't know if you can see that, you can have. Banana, chocolate, strawberry or cream egg flavoured milkshakes from the organic milk. Poured straight in. It's just brilliant. And that tells you how to do it. 
how to use it and a coffee machine as well tea and the full instructions so there we go with the coffee machine look fresh coffee and then over here tells you how to use all the stuff in there there's a vending machine it's got eggs butter bacon even cheese selection of cakes and stuff drinks there's even some kind of drinking bottle inside there and you can pay on all of them using a card so that even the coffee machine and the milk machine so you can use your apple pay or your android pay whatever or just your card contactless brilliant idea and as you come in you've got the main reception although you don't need it because it's contactless they take your registration plate and I'll show you the AMPR machine that just opens a bollard so you can drive straight in so you don't have to talk to them if you don't want to. Well I just spoke to the uh, the lady owner and um, she said please send me the link when you've done your, your video. Um, she's quite excited so I'll do that. Uh, okay so when you arrive, I don't know if you can see it very well because the sun's quite bright. When you arrive you drive up to this bit here and then there's bollards, the ones that come out the ground. And then the camera, you see that, reads your number plate. And as long as it's on there, it then opens. And it goes green, the bollards go down. And hey presto. So this is the laundry. So you've got a washing machine. Uh, it looks like coins that you play with here, coin slots, then up here you've got the dryer. I'm not sure how you pay with that. Oh, that's um, oh, it's off the same thing, like so. One's the washing machine, the other one's the dryer. So the laundry's quite nice. Look at all these leaflets, that's all the places you can visit in this area. Just come along, and take one of those. And here you've got a map of this local area telling you where everything is. And if we come outside the laundry, we can go into the dishwashing room. Let's have a look in here. Oh, look at this. So here's the dishwashing. You've got one, two, three really generous sized sinks. And then, oh, what's this? Some kind of electronic, oh, I'm scared to touch it. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, you can change the temperature on that one. And then, oh, you press it again to turn it off, that's easy. How modern is that? That's lovely. So new food preparation. So come and wash your dishes and stuff in there, that's really good. <laughs> It smells really nice as well, it smells really clean. And then <clears throat> each side, this side you've got the gents, and the other end you've got the ladies. So let's have a quick peek in here. Oh, that's massive. Oh, how nice is that? Oh my god, I've got like Belfast sinks there. Four of those. Oh, it smells nice in there. And we've got showers. Oh, look at that, that's all electronic as well. Seat, somewhere to hang your stuff and when you come in here. And there's the actual shower, look. You've got a lower one, and then you've also got an upper one as well. Look at that. Locks and everything, you've got a little lock on there. Got one, two, three. Baby change. Oh yeah, huge toilet there. And then some sit downs with the uh, old urinals and they're quite lovely. A lovely room, it's nice and warm in here as well. Brilliant. And to the side of the toilets you've got the bin area. Huge old binos. And so rare we got 
the chemical waste disposal there which is down in there obviously oh, peeking there yummy and then you've got a uh, shower to wash it off as well lovely and CCTV looks they're very conscious about security which is great so yeah that's where we came in And then you've actually got a loop so you can go down that way and all the way around and then it comes back or go down that way and it goes all the way around. And from what I can see this has paid pitches where people keep their caravans with a mixture of people who can come and stay here in caravans on hard standings like this. <coughs> And they've also got, which I'll show you in a minute where we are, some grass pitches, which is quite cool. Yes, yeah, so if you keep walking, you've got your first junction with a road, marrying up the two roads there. It goes downhill here, but every hard standing it's kind of on a slight terrace, so they're all nice and straight, which is really good. <coughs> and then, just before you've got the next little turn, then what have we got here? We've got, oh, more chemical waste. We've got another one here. Chemical waste area. Got some bins here. You're going to be brave going down there. I'm not going down there. Oh, you're not? <laughs> we got another waste here. No, I don't think I would either. Another Elson point there, chemical disposal. Yeah, so you got that area there, and then you got mobile loos here. Male and a female. This is quite a cute little one, that. So you've got your rhinos, your loo, another loo, and then three sinks on there. Which is good. And that's the loos there, and then next to it is a park for your youngers. With a gate on it and everything, so they can't escape. <laughs> and then you've got another road downhill with a lot of the grass pitches are on this bit. It's like the 70s, the numbers here. All the grass pitches, and again, although it's downhill, it's only very slight, and they're slightly terraced each one, so they're not really on a big angle. And you've then got another block next to the park. Let's see, it looks like showers. Oh, yeah, so this is showers. Let's have a look here. So, what's this one in the end? Oh, washing up. So, you've got another washing up area. Look at that. So you've got three sinks in here. Not quite as grand as the other ones, but hey, sinks to do washing up. And then you've got a block of four showers, look. Oh look, oh they're electronic again as well, look. With your side shower and then your overhead shower there. Brilliant. <coughs> There's four of those. And we're at pitch 75, which is literally just there. So we've only got to walk up here. And we can go to the shower. And I can have a go on the swings, I fancy it. So yeah, all, all together, it's actually really, really good. Um, I would say we're probably a mile from the sea if that, because it's literally where I can see down there, it's literally the other side of that hill, so we're right by the sea. And amazingly the sun is shining beautifully now. Uh, excellent.